Nicole and this is Lulu and I'm going to show you how to give your dog a bath at home for smaller breeds like Chihuahuas and short coats. Okay, so here are some basic things you're going to need. A towel to dry your dog, shampoo, there's all kinds of shampoo, just research them. There's stuff for flea and tick, sensitive skin, long breed, long coats, anything, just research it. Um, I use a washcloth to dip and wash my dog's head so I don't get water in eyes or ears. Um, a cup to dip the water cotton swabs for the ears, uh, ear cleaner, now you have to clean your ear whenever it's dirty or whatever, just follow the directions on the bottle, um, a healthy dog's ear will be pink on the inside and will be free of splits, um, a sign of ear infection in dogs is if it leans to one side or it scratches out its ear or shakes its head a lot and if your dog's doing this you need to take it to the vet and get it checked out, um, also with shampoos you can use baby shampoo as well. Um, you'll need a brush to brush out loose dirt and hair, a leash to restrain your dog, a blanket for after your dog gets out of the bath so it can stay warm and dry, and I'm not sure if I said a towel already. Um, this is a book on my breed of dog. You need to know everything about your breed of dog before you get your dog and how to care for a dog. You also need to be financially able to take your care for your dog and take your dog to get its needs. Okay, um, I use this small tub and it's warm outside even though it's fall. I live in Georgia so it's warm. Um, I have all the water in this small blue tub because it's just easier for me. Um, to test your water to see if it's warm enough like you would a baby's bath, use your elbow because it's sensitive and my dog's water is warm enough. Um, I'm going to start by putting her in there. And taking off her collar, she doesn't really need to be restrained. Okay, I'm going to start by rinsing her. Um, just get their fur wet. Sometimes you'll have to like move their fur because they. Most dogs have a second undercoat. It's a barrier. So you're just going to rinse her and get their fur wet. Okay. Okay, so she's rinsed, and I'm going to use shampoo. Um, I think I'm going to use baby shampoo. What I do is I get a palm size full and I dab it here on the neck, on the back, on the rump, on the stomach, and also on the, I guess you would call that thighs. <laughs> okay, basically just lather it up and, um, some key areas you want to clean are, well, you want to clean everywhere, but get the tail and the butt <laughs> and their private parts and their feet. Their feet are the dirtiest part, so clean their feet really well. And their neck because a lot of parasites lay their eggs right here. Um, you also want to make sure you use a flea medication once a month, like Canine Advantix or Frontline. You can get that through your veterinarian. Okay, you can turn it off. Let's start it. Okay, so I've got her all lathered up and really washed. Um, I'm going to start rinse her now, but first I want to tell you how often you should give your dog a bath. Um, smaller dogs like this can usually go about once a month unless they get dirty. Um, you can do it about every two weeks because if you do it too often it will dry and irritate their skin. So do it about every two weeks and if your dog gets dirty in between baths or while you're out on the road they make these little doggy wipes and you just wipe them off. It doesn't irritate their skin. Um, they also for the smell they make a doggy perfume. Um, and you can find those at your pet stores or veterinarians. They smell really good. Okay, so I'm going to start rinsing her now. Um, this is a bottle of warm water I filled up from here from the clean. I think it'll help me get on her neck and stuff so I don't pour. They still Lulu. Um, it does work really well. Just make sure you get the coat completely rinsed. Don't lose it. you leave any soap residue. Uh, it can dry and irritate the skin as well. Um, just rinse. Okay. 
Okay. Is it on? Okay. Okay, now for their head. I use a washcloth, as I said, to wash their head. This has barely got water in it. So basically what I do is stay still. She doesn't like them. Okay. okay, so what I did was... The video ran short, so what I did was I just took the washcloth and I rinsed her head so no water would get in her eyes or ears. Um, it was tearless, but still. Um, then I put a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of soap, and I washed her head and her face right here. And I took the same washcloth in clean water and sort of sprinkled it and rinsed it. And Now I've got her all dry. Her fur is just about completely dry. I didn't leave any water in it. And she's wrapped up in the blanket so she can keep warm. I'm going to show you how to brush her. Now you should brush her before they get a bath to get all the loose dirt and pet hair. Um, I start out with the hard bristle sides to, just to loosen the hair up. Here, stand up. To loosen the hair up. Basically want to start from the neck and go down. If you have a long hair breed, you want to do this about once a week or maybe a few times a week. But long hair, every now and then, just when they need it. Okay. It's clear. Well, then back up. Okay, and then I want to do the soft bristle, bristled, and it gets all the loose hair that's too small for the big bristle. And just brush it out. Okay. Okay, you can just not show me. I'm going to clean the ears with the ear cleaner now. Um, so what I do is I just barely coat this. Hey, give that back to me. I barely coat this and um, just enough to coat it. Um, and get closer to the ear. Um, you want to make sure your pet doesn't move a lot or jerk, restrain their head. And basically, you just want to clean out on the outside. And what you can see, never, ever go in further than what you can see. If there is something down in there, please take it to the vet and get them to get it out. Because you can really damage and hurt your dog. Okay, so look up at me. Okay. So where you can get the supplies, um, when you go to the store, they're usually, they can be quite expensive. Um, and what the stores do is they get it from the retailer or the place that makes it and they jack it up like five times so they can make a profit. But here is a place where you can get it straight from the warehouses. It's www.petedge.com, P-E-T-E-D-G-E. -E. It's a great, great site. They have everything. Um, with the grooming, they have grooming apparel. Grooming equipment, supplies like towels, gloves, restraints, tubs, um, all the professional stuff. They have grooming tools and even business aids for you, those of you have, who have businesses. They have, they have everything. They have apparel also. Um, all sorts of clothes for your dog for very, very cheap. You can get stuff for like one and two bucks where it normally is like 15 or 20 at the store. They also have health stuff like that. K9 Advantage and Pet, Pet Edge and your Heart Guard stuff. Um, they have dental chews, trees, all kinds of stuff for breeding. Like if you have dogs, they have um, supplements, um, those wipes, the perfumes I told you about. They have toys and treats. They have collars and leashes. All kind of kennels and cages. They have just about everything. So remember, if you're going to get your supplies and you want to save money, go to www.petedge.com. Also, um, I want to talk to you about health care. Health care can be very expensive for a dog, but you need to make sure they have all their shots and medical needs and get a checkup at least once a year unless there's an emergency or a problem. You need to go to the vet immediately. Um, if you don't really have the money for a vet, um, you sometimes at Petco, they have reduced price vaccination and they can help you or go to your local Humane Society and they'll try to help you out. Uh, also, you can try to work things out with your vet like a payment plan and also where to get your dog. You never ever want to get your dog from a pet store because they come from uh, pet, puppy farms and puppy mills which are very poorly bred, mistreated dogs. You want to get your dog from a good quality breeder. Uh, research what you should know for your breeders. 
You also want to get them from a shelter. Please, please save a dog from a shelter because some of those, they're in there for no reason. They just need a second chance. So a dog from your shelter. They also come with their first sets of shots and spayed and neutered or they'll give you a certificate to get your dog spayed or neutered. Okay.